Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. I have here a standard Samsung Galaxy S9 Exynos, of course. So the SM G960F. I will now demonstrate the Lineage OS 16 unofficial ROM on this device. As you can see right here on the top I have, well, I don't actually have signal bars, but I can assure you that I have two sims in this phone and they are both working just fine it's just a cosmetic issue let's call it yeah so let's get on with it this will be a review and a installation guide all together as a general overview this is not the GSI ROM it is based on actual device trees it's a lineage OS build so it's actually based on AOSP with a couple of extra tweaks it's really clean you do not have any bloatware actually the Google Apps that you see here well the Play Store it's installed by me with an OpenGS package so you can even discard that if you want it's a really really clean Android ROM let's just start off with the installation process so you will first need to have TWRP installed as a custom recovery on your device I will link my video in the description so you can see exactly how to do that it works on any Android Pi ROM for the S9 of course this ROM works for the S9, S9 Plus only for the Exynos variant so do not try it on any Snapdragon variants after TWRP is installed you will need to boot into TWRP I'm doing it straight from here because I already have it installed my guide below will show you exactly how to flash TWRP and it's really simple and easy to follow no matter what you're coming from you should do a full wipe so just go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, system, data and cache and then swipe to wipe this is the standard wipe before a new ROM installation then you will need to copy a few files onto your internal memory you can do this by connecting the phone to the PC straight from TWRP it works just fine um, so these are a few files that I've copied first of all you will need to install the vendor image that it's written here so CSB8 of course you're doing this by clicking install and then install image clicking it and selecting vendor image and swiping to flash do not forget to select the vendor image partition before actually swiping after that's done, it's simple enough, just go to install once again, select the Lineage OS 16 build and swipe to confirm flash. Then you should flash the OpenGS package of your choice. I'm always flashing the latest package of all, so the Pico package. You can also flash the Magisk zip file if you want root, of course, but I can't see any reason why you wouldn't want root. And after that's done, you don't need to wipe anything, just reboot into system and you're good to go. What I've noticed straight off the bat is that this ROM boots really fast, so the first boot is lightning fast. I will start off by showing you the disadvantages, so the shortcomings that this ROM is still facing. And then you can decide for yourself if these are well that impacting for you or if you can still use this ROM as a daily driver you still don't have hardware composer running yet the signal bar as you can see right here is quite fidgety sometimes it shows something sometimes it doesn't I can assure you that both sims work just fine I have here two sim cards you can choose whichever you want to use for data for SMS's or for calls it works just fine, it's just a matter of aesthetics, most of all. Other than that, the ROM is mostly daily driver material. I've used a lot of Lineage OS ROMs and I can tell you that none of them are as smooth as this one. At least unofficial variants. It's really fast. You can see that Hardware Composer isn't activated, but as far as I know, this build is about a month old, but the developers, Rainbow Dash, kudos to you for doing this, it's amazing. 
and to Ivan Meller. I know he's a very important contributor as well. They've solved the hardware composer. They've solved basically the signal bars as well. The only thing that they've broken through this is the camera. So that's why the new release is being delayed a bit, but it's gonna come. And when it does, you can make sure that I will update the video description or maybe even make a new video, I'm not really sure. And of course, at all times in the video description, you will have the latest version of this particular Lineage OS. So yeah, I've connected it to a Wi-Fi network. Everything works just fine. Even the flashlight, everything is quite stable. The camera is working as you would expect. It's not as good as the stock camera, but still it does its job. So it films as well. The autofocus is decent enough. Of course, you cannot really expect stock camera performance from a Lineage OS ROM and you get this with all Lineage OS ROMs, so not with this one in particular only. Everything works, Magisk works just fine. I have here the latest stable version. You can install the latest beta or something, but you don't really need it. You have here all the details, so Android version 9, Lineage OS 16, of course. This is the current security patch. It will very soon get patched to the April security patch level along with the fixes that I've been telling you about earlier. So I had a few calls on both SIM cards. They both work just fine. The earpiece volume works as it should. I connected some headphones to it and the volume works there as well, which is really good. I've seen lots of Lineage OS ROMs with problems in these departments. Yeah, so there's nothing much to say. This is a very clean installation right now. You can right now connect to the Google Play Store and well, install everything on it. Or you can avoid Google Play Store altogether by skipping the OpenGApps installation. If you'd like to use an open source store, such as F-Droid, I would totally recommend this ROM if you have an S9. I'm not really sure if I'll use it as a jade driver as of now. I will wait for the next update where the hardware composer and the signal bars will be fixed and after that use it as a jade driver without any question marks. This really is daily driver material even now. I hope you've enjoyed this review and this short guide on how to install the Lineage OS 16 for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Just take note, this only works once again only on Exynos devices. Do not try it if you have a Snapdragon based Samsung Galaxy S9. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them down here in the comment box below. All the files that you've seen here will be placed in the description so we'll have download links for all of them if you liked this video please press the thumbs up button if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to more content just like this you can simply do that by clicking this button in the bottom left part thank you so much for your continuous support if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section this was a Lineage OS 16 on the Samsung Galaxy S9 video. Thank you so much for watching it. I wish you a great day. Bye!